lot of times when I talk to people about journaling, they tell me they hate writing or they don't know what to write or they get writer's block or they stare at a blank page. So this is the perfect journal for people who hate writing. All right, so here's what you get with this journal. It's non-typical and there are plenty of blank pages for you to write, but there, there's more. Okay, there's all sorts of Q&As, questions and answers, so that you can just, instead of thinking of what to write about, just answer the questions and reflect on those. There's some pages that you can complete a picture about a prompt, so it has like a little shape or something for you to finish. Then there are some mind maps with a topic in the middle, and then you can just write one word or a phrase or something and really see where it goes. Then you can write your thoughts about that on the next page. What else? Ooh, fill in the blank. That's much easier than writing in paragraph format. So it gives you almost like a Mad Libs or something that you can write out what's going on based on the blanks, and then you still have place, a uh, place to write your realizations. There are blank pages with invitations just to doodle about a specific topic. So you can just fill in this whole set of pages just with your doodles and drawings and whatever you feel like. So there's a lot of variety here. Yes, still plenty of blank open spaces to write, but also so many other things that you never wonder what you should write about. It's a list of 10 things. There's a few of those throughout. So basically this book gives you six weeks of daily self-reflection exercises and you don't have to come up with the topics or what to write about.